Alcaiz. We've already got in the red corner representing Germany. Marco Aschenbrenner. And now we're having the Turkish entrance. Ali Alkayas coming into a traditional Turkish song. In our second fight of this King of Kings World Grand Prix. Minus 85 kilograms. Tournament eight man Grand Prix here in the fabulous Manaj Arena Sports Arena. Ali Al Kais, Turkey. Ladies and gentlemen, more information about fighters. Red Kona, three times champion of Germany, participant and prizeman of fighting tournaments. Fighter representing Hammer Jim Hammer, Germany. Give it up your hands for Marco Aschenbrenner. Blue Kona, champion of Muay Thai in Europe. Champion Muay Thai and kickboxing in Turkey. World Muay Thai with the champion. Fighter representing Ali Al Kais Sport Club, Turkey. Ali Al Kais. <laughs> KOK World Grand Prix quarter final fight. Three rounds, three minutes each. Ring referee Andrei Grosu. So here we go, the second of our Grand Prix quarterfinals. Representing Germany in the red corner, Marco Aschenbrenner. Trains with my friend over there from the Hammer Gym, Daniel Notch. Great guy, fabulous trainer. And coming from the very great fighting nation of Turkey, Ali Alkayas in the blue corner blue gloves he's distinguished the fighters red gloves for red corner blue for blue simple as so this is the same again three three minute rounds strong technique solid shots coming there straight away from the german marco working the legs then going upstairs downstairs goes Ali with the right low kick, upstairs, great, beautiful exchange, both fighters simultaneous, the kick and the touch of gloves there, so that is a sure sign of recognition and respect from each other, nice to see. You wouldn't believe there was 10,000 people in this stadium because silence is bestowed, everyone's just listening and watching with intent, and like I said, a very, very educated crowd we have here in Moldova We're very used to these fights we've just been told that this year celebrates the fifth year for FEA celebrations fighting entertainment association 
fifth year anniversary this year. And like I said, a very well fight educated audience and crowd as these two combatants put it together. Germany versus nice upstairs kick coming from the German and low kick reply from the Turkish guy. This showing their experience of both these guys. Both guys the same height and build. Both guys just coming under the limit of 85 kilograms, no problem. At the weigh in last night. Solid shots. Solid indeed. These two guys, both, you can tell, have got the fighting feeling that comes from inside. Only a fighter knows. Something that is inbuilt in every man and woman. Some choose to use it, some choose not to. Dates back to when we were cavemen and women. And a lot of people these days are quite content to sit behind a computer, sit there. Or watch, which is far easier than getting in between these four ropes. So, closing stages of this first round, both fighters having a good measure of each other. Stood very much toe to toe, both looking for exchanges. It's time to watch the grind. The hammer goes down for 10 seconds. Good low kicks from. Ali Five, to finish the round off. So both fighters getting, a, I would say, a fair amount of the, the the fight. When I say a fair amount, I would say very little between them. This one minute rest they get, it's very important time to get some little bit of fluid, some water, um, a little bit of a waft off for the towels to cool them down, but most importantly, the knowledge and the experience from the trainers, which is absolute paramount. I can't say it enough. Any fighters out there that are thinking about it, are doing it, listen to your trainers, your guides. I call them guides because that's what we are. Here we go. Round two, scheduled for three three-minute rounds of KOK rules. Very similar to the old K1 format, but King of Kings is now it's the present and it's the future. Whoa, big shots coming there. Solid for Marco. But Ali returns with a nice low kick. Both fighters mean business. Look at the guards, very serious intent there. You can tell both guys are very experienced. Going upstairs nicely there from Marco, but Ali replies with that lovely left low kick going to the back leg, I like how he uses that. Both of these fighters, absolute fabulous technique. You can hear these shots right round this massive stadium. Again, solid shots. You can hear them as they go in. And again, a touch of gloves, utmost respect for each other. Both know that each of these guys are capable of knocking each other out. You can just tell every time they throw shots, there is so much solidness behind it. But like I said, look at the guard on these two. Both looking for a chink in the armour. As I call it, it's a game of chess with pain. Look at the eyes, look at the focus. Big right hand coming from Ali. Marco feels that, but even though it took on the arm, the, the pressure of that punch goes through the arm and resonates into the head. They still feel it. Again, there's very little between these two fighters. It's going to be a difficult job for the judges, and the judges are sat at my side, to my left here. You can see him, he's absolutely scrutinising it. He's almost sat on the ring apron to watch, because there is nothing between these two. This is going to be one of these fights, you know, that could go an extra round, unless we see a knockout. Just less than a minute, the second round. Both fighters again testing out with the low kicks. 
Nice body hook there from Marco. Ali takes a deep breath. Ali Arkayas from Turkey. Nods in approval. Knowing that the man in front of him is capable as he is himself, because like I said, this is a real good match. Both fighters exactly the same weight, same build, same height, and as tough as each other. Two hard men of the sport, but with ultimate respect for each other. Solid shots. <laughs> Look at that. Takes the shot and just goes, yeah, is that it? <laughs> Entertainment, fighting Bye. entertainment, the association style, king of kings, here in the Manaj Sports Arena in Kishino, the capital of Moldova. So out with the solidness, the animalistic, the brutal, in with the beasts of, let's say, beauties. The beasts of the fighters, the beauties of the ring girls. But here we see some of the slow mo action. Like I said, both these guys, you can just tell with the solidness that they land. You know they've got knockout in both arms and both legs. The only reason why you've probably not seen a knockout at this stage I is do. because each of these two have got a, a real solid guard. Got the chins down, the elbows down into the body, the hands up covering the face. So we've had two rounds. It's been a tough one for the judges. This is where we might see some daylight. Final round. So third round, two rounds we've just had. Solid fighting. Third and final. What's going to happen in this round? Keep your eyes peeled. Don't blink, as they say. So many times as a commentator, I've just looked down at my paper, looked up, and somebody's on the canvas. So everything to play for in this third round. Ball fighters, like I said, on my unofficial scorecard, as I always do. I've got it 10-10, 10-10. I just cannot separate them. The only thing, if it does go an extra round, that's going to play a part in the semi-finals when one of them goes through, because they'll have done not just nine minutes of fighting, could be 12, and that is a long time to be fighting. So fighters playing the game because they're picking the shots nicely. They both know about the tournament. This is what I was saying earlier on. Takes one south of the board, he puts his hands up to say, sorry, it wasn't intentional. The timeout for that. I said Marco, true consummate professional, as is Ali Alcaez in front of him. Both these guys, they don't need any dirty tactics, and that was not intended.
waiting for judge decision. Well, let's see what happens here. It's been a great fight. It's been tit for tat, like I said. But who's going to get it? I do not know. It's been tit for tat. Like I said, I wouldn't like to be a judge because to me, on my card, unofficial scorecard, I've got it three rounds. Even. Is it marvellous, Marco? Is it amazing, Ali? Who's got the shout. Well, both fighters think they've got it. They both raised their hands, and I can understand why. To me, you know, I think it's got to be an extra round. That's what I'm calling it. I'm not a judge but tonight. I Ladies am just the commentator. Here we go. By points, 2-1. The winner is majority NCAA points. Two judges to one. Semi-final fight goes. Blue corner, Ariel Gaius. Well, he had his, he kept his hand up. Marco put his hand down. He thought he perhaps just didn't get it. That could have been a little bit of extra work, a little spurt he put on there in the third round, Ali. That might have done it for him. But well, what a great performance, Marco. From the Hammer Gym. In Germany, a great gym, a great trainer and a great man. Daniel Notcher, I absolutely like.